ne? Salt helps draw the blood out. Got our rabbit quarters in here. We're gonna put them in a the boiling water and boil them until the meat falls off the bone. So, boiling water. I'm just gonna dump them in the pot. I like to put a little bit of salt in the water. You always want to check for shot, make sure you didn't miss any. Eat a crack on a pellet. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to eat any of that. Nobody likes cracking a tooth on a on a shot pellet. About a pound of it, pound and a half maybe. Put it in. I had to say a tablespoon of candy jalapeno with the juice in it. Add it. Teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of sugar, teaspoon of pepper. Add all that. Four boiled eggs cut up. Fine, I'm gonna add it. You don't have to add four, but I like I like eggs in it, so I, I usually put an, add an extra. So that's four boiled eggs shredded. Half a cup of onion, half a cup of chopped celery, half a cup of green bell pepper cut up. Add that. Got a half a cup of sweet pickle cubes. Throw that in. We got a cup of Duke's mayonnaise. Bind it all together. Get it, guy. Got the salad put together, and the mustard's optional. You can add it for taste if you like it. You can add a little bit. I wouldn't add a lot. You just add it and stir it in. Gives a little bit, a little more bite. Okay. All right, so now since it's all put together, it tastes delicious, we'll cover it and put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for about an hour. Just let all the flavors kind of mix together. Well, and then uh, when she's ready to eat. Now we're gonna fry some bacon up, toast a little bit of bread. We got to spread some butter on some of bread. We're gonna toast it, fry this bacon up, spread some of our rabbit salad on the bread with the bacon and a little bit of lettuce and tomato, and got our got our meal. You can cook it. You, I mean, you can eat it any way you want. I just like to put it on a sandwich with some bacon. You, you can put it on crackers and you can eat it by itself, however you prefer it. But this is the way I like to do it. Every year now, rabbit season is just as important to me as deer season or turkey season or any other season. It's a good excuse to get out in the woods with a bunch of good friends, and you know you can you don't have to be quiet when you're rabbit hunting necessarily. You can hang out with your buddies and shoot the bull and enjoy enjoy the camaraderie with all your friends. All the while killing rabbits to make delicious meals like this this one we're making tonight with rabbit salad. What's the hardest part of rabbit hunting? I'd say it's the briars. Uh, you can tell my hands are pretty torn up. Uh, the briars get me, but pounding through the briars to get to the rabbits, the most difficult part of it, I'd say. Toasted bread, some of that delicious rabbit salad. Get it on there. Rabbit salad, bacon, and top it with a piece of lettuce. Nice, generous piece of lettuce. Generous. There you go. Got the salad. Rabbit salad sandwich with bacon, ready to go. Absolutely melt in your mouth, delicious. East North Carolina style.
Let's so this is what we waited for this whole time. I'm gonna try it out. Oh my gosh. Um, Brody, Brody, he cooked all this. And I just gotta say, will you move in with me, Brody? <laughs> <laughs> this is phenomenal. I highly recommend this. This is probably better than the last video we did, the chicken. My grandfather's chicken. This is my Brody's rabbit salad sandwich. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Yes, sir, we got this rabbit salad sandwich with them green peppers and onions. Lord, I tell you, and a cold Pepsi. Got rabbit salad sandwich and a cold Pepsi. Kick back and watch the ball game. I tell you, it don't get no better than this right here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wall hammer. Mmm. Catch me outside, how about that? If you like it, please subscribe, hit the bell button for future videos, and we'll be doing all kinds of outdoor cooking wildfire action.